Hi all, welcome to this tutorial on how to generate a sequence number in order 70. So currently in the screen, we are seeing the seed quotation and you will be seeing the generated sequence for each record. And we all know that the sequence numbers are important as they provide a unique identifier for each record. So let's see how to create a sequence like this in a model. So I have just created a model run request and these are the different fields in it. So let's jump into the code part. As you can see that I have created a model rendered request here and there is a field reference and I am using this field to generate the sequence number. And also I created an XML file irsequencedata.xml in the folder data. Let's look into this file and you can see a record that is created in the model ir.sequence. And in this record I have given the id, name, code, prefix, padding and also specified whether the company ID is false or and I given the name as rent request um, as I am creating the model rent request so you can give the name as you want and I have given the code as rent request as it is used to reference the sequence then you can give the prefix that you want and uh, the prefix is the string at the beginning of each generated sequence number. So you can give the prefix uh, that you want and also you can give the padding and that is the zeros that are added to the sequence to maintain a consistent length. So you can specify the padding and also the company ID whether it's false or true. Here I have given the company ID as false that means this sequence is not specific to any company. Now just go back to the run request model and let's write down the code to generate the sequence number here. For that, I'm supering the create function. So, just update the reference. For that, I'm calling a function in the model. I adopt sequence that is the next by code and I am passing the code that we have given in the data file into the function here it is the window triggers now we can see that uh, we can see that the reference is updated and uh, now super the function and return it After running the code, let's check whether the sequence is generated for the model ir.sequences. For that, go into the settings and then into technical and then into sequences. Here we can see the sequence that we have generated for the model run request with all the details we have given in the code like the sequence code, prefix, the sequence size and the step that is the number by which the next number will be incremented. And here the next number will be the 1. And we can also uh, give the suffix from here itself or from the code. Now let's check um, by creating a new record in the model run request. So here I am creating a new record in the model run request. Providing all the details. See after creating this record a sequence is generated for that record with the prefix r and with four zeros and one. one is the next number that is here the padding is 5 including four zeros and the one and according to the sequence that we have created the next for the next sequence the next number will be 2 uh, let's check that by creating another record see uh, the sequence is generated for the another record with 2 as the next number with the same pattern. So this is how we can create a sequence in order 70. So I hope you get the idea about how to generate a sequence number in order 70. And thank you for watching the video.